Hi, and welcome to another inspiring artist worth studying. Today, I am going to be talking about Claire Wendling. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So, uh, today, Claire Wendling. <clears throat> Claire Wendling is uh, absolutely one of the most amazing artists. She, once again, she's a European artist. I've been talking a lot about European artists lately. Um, so, uh, one of the things that, uh, really strikes me about her, uh, ability, her, her drawing is uh, she's got a very, uh, solid draftsmanship style in the vein of Frank Frazetta. So I'm not saying that, that she draws exactly like Frazetta. And then I will show you what I mean when I when I compare, compare her to Frazetta because she does have a lot of overlapping uh, uh, quirks and draftsmanship and solidity and energy that Frazetta possesses. And, and Claire Wendling has the same kind of finesse and energy and, and proper solid draftsmanship. And there are very similar things that you could compare each artist and the difference being that Frazetta also did oil painting I'm not sure Claire Wendley does any oil painting if she does I haven't seen any uh, but uh, but it's still an it's kind of still the same school of art so let me show you what I mean so let's begin with this sketch. So like, uh, look at look at how one of the things that uh, Claire Wendling is really, really, really good at uh, the the things that she actually enjoys doing uh, the most seem to be cats and women. Those are the two things that she enjoys drawing the most from what I can see from what she tends to draw. And so when you look at her cats, and uh, she draws horses too. I think I'll have some, some examples here too. But her cats are amazing. Uh, they have so much of that cat-like kind of energy and, and malleability. How cats are kind of, they, they distort. They kind of move and push and yank and pull on their anatomy in such a way that 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 it's that, that they seem like have they have no structure, and uh, yet look how amazing this cat drawing is. It's obviously full of, uh, it's obviously f has a full knowledge of feline anatomy, and uh, and and uh, the way that she even breaks up these shadow shapes in order to just uh, emphasize. Uh, what to look at and what not to look at, what's going uh, away from us, what's coming closer to us, and uh, look at the look at the way that this this head shape is 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 designed and drawn, and 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 how solid all these elements are. Look how look at the rhythms that come in and out, and none of these are just arbitrary drawings. These are actually anatomically um, sound. Uh, uh, graphic shapes of 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 uh, of cat anatomy how how this just wraps around like the, these kind of squiggles they're actually indicating the the roundness of in the direction of the of the of the roundness of this of these uh, uh body parts see how this wraps around this and how there's sketch lines here just emphasizing the solidity of this up uh, uh, torso area of the cat here. So we have these muscles coming down here, and then we have these kind of graphic kind of shapes that suddenly just becomes flat and graphic and representational, rather than representational, I should say. Uh, they become like become kind of a bit symbolic, right? And here we have this shadow shape here with the claws. We have the way that the claws are graphically designed we have these the the uh, the um, wrist muscles which are actually very similar to those of human anatomy so we have these really uh, amazing uh, wrist muscle shape uh, 
shapes here. Again, another cat. Like I said, she loves drawing them. And uh, she does a fantastic job with them. Look how gorgeous this drawing is. Look, look at the way that the, the mu she's drawing these muscles down here like this. Coming in and around. All of this stuff here. Like this is, a, this is actually a, um, a bone that comes out. Um, I, I only know this because I was studying some animal drawings. Uh, some animal anatomy. This is the uh, the cheekbone of the of the uh, of the cat here. And then we have this muscle here coming down and around, and we have the the wrapping around of this mouth uh, muscle here, the muzzle shape here. It's so good. Th this is just so amazing. Look how it how this just wraps around, wraps around. Real good, beautiful, solid, solid drawing. Uh, here's some ape drawings and here like we this is where uh, uh, you know like uh, Frazetta tends tended to draw like these kind of ape men looking things and this is this just seems very Frazetta to me really amazing amazing energy uh, rock solid good anatomy great shapes uh, the silhouettes of the of the of this uh, of these drawings are just so good just really graphic um she tends to think in graphic solid graphic outlines uh while still having internalizing when she's drawing these graphic outlines internalizing all the anatomy and solidity inside so then she comes in and it just kind of pops in all these beautiful beautiful uh, uh, uh uh, landmarks to indicate the solidity of the uh, of the uh, of the interior of this uh, of these drawings there is just it's amazing it's amazing worth worth absolutely studying and, and, and checking out how she how she does these sort of things here's another cat one that she kind of invented it's it's from one of her comics which I'm going to talk about at the end of this video but look how beautiful this is beautiful design and how the lighting really works here how 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 the lighting gives the the cat texture and yet the shapes are all here the solidity is all here uh, the the felineness of this is all here yet yet we've got all these kind of graphic very quick um, textural uh, light and dark areas Oh, bull. See, so like her animal and her animal studies and her animal anatomy is just out of this world. It's just outstanding. Uh, so solid, so buff, so much energy and so much muscle and anatomy and construction and power. Uh, th there's there's just definitely one of the key, the, the best people to look at when 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 you're when you're talking about drawing and studying doing animals. Uh, she's amazing to look at uh, just for how much energy and power and how well she goes about doing these uh, these animals and look how how amazing the, the shoulder blades and it comes that the, the I mean well the shoulder blades are here but but this the the muscles here of the neck coming down and on over the shoulders it's it's just so good it's just so good and now we have another animal but yet we have this lady on here very very simple extremely solid lady on top of this animal here uh, great stuff great stuff like i said she draw she likes drawing ladies and she loves drawing animals and and hands down this is just beautiful look how graphic and beautiful this this um i don't know what is it a yak or a, a wildebeest is it's just gorgeous we have a drawing of a lady here and look how beautiful the design of this of, of her of her anatomy is really really pushed so one of the things about uh claire wendling is that uh she ended up going and working on uh at, at a at Wal uh, warner brothers animation when they had an animated uh, an animation studio and she worked on um quest for camelot i believe and um 
and, and that's one of the reasons why she got hired. And uh, and while she was there, uh, she started uh, learning a little bit something more about uh, animation uh, design, uh, because in animation design, it's all about shapes and it's all about simplicity. Because we can't in animation draw too much detail because. Uh, it would be uh, counterproductive to be putting in a ton of detail on an animated hand, uh, hand animated uh, character. So we do what we can with the actual graphic shapes. And, and there's a tradition in, in animation where it's all about the graphic shape uh, juxtaposition of body parts. And when she left the studio, she had kind of picked some of this uh, animation uh, uh, tradition up and so she was able to start pushing she started pushing some of the her designs and some of the the the, the shapes that she used uh, and and you can kind of see how how much more pushed some of the experimental stuff she started doing uh, was after she uh, she got in she she um, she left that studio uh, uh, having been influenced by that tradition and uh, here we have a, a beautiful, beautiful, well-drawn uh, cyborg lady. Uh, it's just great, just beautiful work. Oh, here we have a, uh, a guy. Uh, and again, uh, there's something about the quality of this uh, work that reminds me of Frazetta. But I think this is not more, this is not just a guy. Look, he's got like beast hands. So this is like a fantastic fantasy creature. Of some sort and probably a centaur maybe I don't know some kind of but it's but look at look at the the, the crazy uh, paw hands he's got here some eagle guy or something uh, but but look at the the anatomy all of it is working all of this is amazing just really organic there's something so organic about the way that she tends to draw uh, all anatomy uh, it, it has it has a very uh, a beautiful life to it and a, a beautiful energy. It's, it's something again really really worth uh, copying, uh, getting to know like getting getting in there and and, 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 and learning what this um, calligraphy is that she's using, which is just gorgeous. We have a, a pencil drawing of a, of, a, of a lady again here. Uh, the drapery here is amazing. Uh, we've got this great little design of all these kind of skulls here, but look at the way, look at the look at the anatomy here. Look at look at that arm. Look at the anatomy here. Here's the pecs coming into the deltoid. Uh, we've got the 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 um, the arm muscle here with the with the with the elbow. Very clearly, uh, we have these muscle coming in up here and around. It's gorgeous, gorgeous work. Beautiful work. We've got a creature here. We got a, min, uh, a, a minotaur done on on brown paper. Uh, but look at the anatomy on this guy. Look, there's the here's the uh, brachioradialis muscle coming down here and wrapping around here, connecting over here to this arm here. Again, brachioradialis coming down into the into the uh, into the uh, forearm here and then coming down in here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. The deltoid muscles, the that we've got the tricep muscles sh masses here with the bicep just gorgeous gorgeous work and and yet here we got this beautiful design of the face of this bull this bull face and the the way that the shadows are masking and designing that face while still making it seem three-dimensional and and uh, menacing and at the same time uh, solid and ro rock solid very well drafted the the way that she spots the blacks that so that it makes everything else pop right it's amazing stuff and here we have something a little bit more designy much more simple nice lyrical so this is like a straight change in in in, in look and and feel uh going for the more simplistic uh uh line work more designy line work, less organic, a little bit more designed. Uh, this was that's what the experiment here is, seems to be. It's just something as simple, organic, flowing, um, 
and 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 uh, and uh, and this is definitely influenced by 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 something like Hirschfeld uh, in in the tradition of, of, of more of an animated uh, tradition uh, where everything is as simple as possible as designed as possible while still keeping it solid uh, and, and well drafted and and, uh, and but designing at the same time it's beautiful beautiful work uh, one of the, again this is this is much more of the organic kind of uh, feel to to the work it's it's a it's a very quick sketch but full of energy uh, pl you know placing all the shadows in the right spots to to really sell uh, the the idea of where where the lights coming from uh, how light is working here uh, how organic this this is um, it's, it's just beautiful I, I uh, so here's here's a poster and we have this really cool kind of uh, robotic uh, machine thing happening over here. And then we've got these amazing, amazingly designed, uh, simp really designy looking women. And again, this is this come this is definitely coming from after after her Warner's experience because uh, she wasn't. I don't believe she was doing something these kinds of drawings uh, before. Uh, and uh, but look how how great these designs are like, grabbing these shapes. Each one of these uh, women have different head shapes, different proportions within said head shapes. While at the same time, and, and then and then she's just pushing these uh, body types. And 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 the, look at the ar the way that her the arms are designed, uh, the the legs are designed the the clothes is is creating different masses and different shapes within them the hair is amazing lyrical look at this great hair shape and mass uh this great ha hair shape and mass uh but at, yet at the same time very solid uh three-dimensional uh just gorgeous gorgeous work i really like uh, how stylized she could be. She could be very, very organic uh, and, and naturalistic, and at the same time, she could go and push it and become very stylized and graphic while still keeping all that solidity and draftsmanship that she's so good at. Here's a drawing of, um, of uh, the Sky Doll character uh, that she did and uh, that I talked about a few, a few videos ago. And... Uh, beautiful beautiful work she 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 tried to keep that that uh that kind of anim uh, animation kind of look uh that barbucci was 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 using in the sky doll uh uh design while making it her own very very uh, very very nice beautiful like graphic little touches here where the detail is really high and then at the same time there's areas where the detail is extremely uh, simple gorgeous gorgeous work again another graphic uh, drawing uh, look at this dog how beautiful is this dog look at look how how amazing the 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 energy and and the the, the uh, personality or rather I should say the characteristics of this uh, dog is uh, and then we've got uh, the the anatomy here look how solid rock solid this anatomy is this is not simplified this is uh really organic really organic uh, uh anatomy here uh it's just what, what what she's actually done is she's taken her her uh, naturalistic style um she's designed it so that it's uh, more exaggerated while still using it, while still having that organic, these organic uh, shapes, it's definitely less simplified uh, than than some of the other drawings that that we've seen her do. Yet at the same time, here we have this extremely graphic hair shape, which is just gorgeous. So all of this really rock solid, great drawing. Once again, we got the 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 uh, sky doll drawing. Uh, of uh, Barbucci's um, Sky Doll from the Barbucci Sky Doll comic, uh, 
uh, beautiful little little drawings here of all these kinds of thing creatures and stuff and then we've got her looking really just sit look how gigantic her foot is here these two feet are really really big beautiful work uh, the anatomy here is really solid uh, great design uh, beautiful hands great expression great gesture real uh, it's just she's just so good another really designy look so this is all this stuff is kind of her newer stuff or newish stuff because of the of the the simplicity and graphic nature of this stuff but again a lot of energy lots and lots of energy here beautiful beautiful design work too just definitely uh, again worth copying worth studying this is great too uh, this is much less uh, animator animatorly and a little bit more uh, more uh, traditional comic book style while having a having some of that simplicity that is very difficult to get but look at this arm we have the deltoid the bicep triceps here and then look at the overlap here of the uh, brachioradialis and then it comes out here and but we but look at look at the way that this the 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 uh the wrist here connects to this uh uh, uh our uh, hand palm here the, the the back of the uh, the back of the hand we actually see um that 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 shape here that comes in and and and, and it's drawn right there like it you have that 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 coming down and that slope that triangular slope that comes in it's right there and you can see it and then we've got this, this graphic shape of a knuckle and then these hands are just kind of graphic uh, depictions of that, but but still they look rock solid same with this like the way that she drew this you could tell that if you were to draw a cross right here that's where the that's where the other side of the knee would be like that's where the the knee corner would be this feels like half a box boom right there and it's so solid really just simple indication no detail in here but you could totally feel that corner uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of uh, drawing you want to have you want to be able to just imply with the simplest line how solid something is uh, right with just because you know what the hell you're doing uh, she's just so good at doing that sort of thing. Zebra, which is insane, uh, and because uh, you know zebra is kind of like horse anatomy with the with all the stripes on here, and then we've got this beautiful girl, uh, baggy pants with all the wrinkles of the baggy pants, which is just so good, uh, and 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 beautiful face, uh, rock solid. Uh, head structure construction here uh, the drapery on on her on her big poofy blouse here uh, just look at how solid this this arm is coming over here we could uh, it's, it's actually even broken down into only uh, kind of like a cell shaded uh, uh, shadows pass and light pass here uh, great stuff great stuff Yet more Sky Doll, uh, very very simple, uh, heavily influenced by uh, the animation style here, but very graphic, uh, solid drawing. These hands are insane. Look how beautiful! Like you can see the knuckles, the way that she she designed the knuckles, she designed the hand pen. It's just the the the, the overlapping action here, the foreshortening. Uh, br here's the. Uh, we have the the indication of the rib cage here, and then we have the belly shape coming through across, and then we have the overlapping hips. Gorgeous work, fantastic, beautiful, and it has that feel of like a a, a kind of almost a, a wide angle, kind of like a, a rounded fisheye lens, right? Organic beautiful beautiful drawing here the anatomy here is insane look at this brachioradialis muscle just huge 
and it's just like and then we've got the 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 hands look at the claws look at the way that the anatomy just comes in and, and, and around and it's really solid without being just overwrought right it just if all of this just feels really organic it feels really solid it feels as if that is real flesh there's there's and, and the energy and the power and the um and the and the the, the naturalism of this uh like leopard down here just clawing and moving and it just feels so right it feels so accurate and how solid this is this creature thing is it's just so good more more uh cats uh here's a claw shape just playing with the claws look how look how graphic and beautiful this is just trying to capture that energy of a a predatory cat uh, it looks amazing this is just so good all of these things are just so good wrapping around look at this look at this deltoid look how beautiful this deltoid shape is um, whenever it like she's my go-to if I have to I have to draw animals and I want to see how great animal drawings look like Claire Wendling is the place to go her the energy that she gives to animals is just out of this world Case in point, here's another non-cat. This is more of a, uh, it looks like it's a fox, or, or this is a fox. Uh, this looks more like a, like a wolf, maybe, or a, maybe it is another, another fox. But look how beautiful these shapes are. Look how amazingly solid you can get and organic. There's nothing rigid about these drawings. There's, they, they have a lot of life and a lot of energy and it, this is really difficult to get while actually being anatomically sound. You have to have such a, a, a facility with, with the anatomy to actually start getting this kind of notion. And the thing about when I, I've seen her draw, she just kind of she just kind of meanders around the shapes and in, she's internalizing all this anatomy and, and it's just mind-blowing how well she thinks about this stuff like how and, and she has and she tends to be very um, humble about it she um, because she, because as many artists are we're always critical about our own work because our ambition is is much higher than the level we're at so as b amazing as she is she, her um, her goal, uh, her drawing goal, is at a higher level. Uh, what she wants to achieve is at a higher level. So uh, when we see her draw at the level she's actually at, uh, and blown away by it, um, she's extremely critical of it because her ambition is to be even higher than that. So because she hasn't reached that element, that level, which, um, which um, even when she does, she'll ha she'll, her ambition will go higher again. So she'll never be happy. Uh, that's the way all uh, artists are. We, we're always, uh, we're never happy where we're, where we're at. We're always shooting for a, a higher level. And if we didn't do that, we'd stagnate and become, would cease to be good. And we would cease to improve. And uh, that happens to a lot of artists, actually. So, um, but but the draw but but the trade-off is that we're never really quite happy about our work. Uh, uh, we're always searching to become better, and she's very critical of herself. And and look at look up, but but at the same time, uh, in, we could admire and enjoy the work that she is doing. Uh, look how solid this is. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous stuff. Like just. Oh. Like you could just look at her sketches all day, especially her animal drawings, but 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 even her 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 regular anatomy. This is this is uh, this is a very very simplified graphic representation of 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 of, uh, of horse anatomy. She's just playing around with what is essential to really make this horse anatomy work, and. Um, it's just brilliant. It just looks so good and it really, really works. You can't, it's undeniably uh, anatomically sound and while at the same time being completely graphic, flat and, and represent and, 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 uh, and, and just uh, abstract. Um, 
and yet it feels extremely solid. Uh, this is her uh, ex uh, more more exploration of of body shapes, and this is the kind of thing that you can do only once you've mastered uh, the the animal anatomy to this point, where you could just take animal anatomy and just push it to to ridiculous caricatures and and and, and then see what you end up with what what kind of graphic designs and shapes you you end up with uh because of the full knowledge of of animal anatomy that you've got and this is these kinds of design explorations are just amazing and now we're back here to to the first drawing so uh Claire Wendling is, again, i just shown you how amazing she is. She's just so versatile. Her anatomy, her, her construction, her, her solidity, her energy, her knowledge of it just, just works, her, her ability to design, her, her design exploration. It's just great. So I'm going to start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend some books now. So Claire Wendling, I believe that the very first time I actually uh, became aware of Claire Wendling's work was with her comics. And uh, this is uh, a, my stack of, of, uh, of some of the, the comics that she that uh, she's uh, that I became aware that she that she did. So like we've got this one here. We've got this one here this and the and this one here so and and what what these are what what they uh they tend to be uh, the well they're in a language i cannot read first of all so i'm not sure exactly what they're about but i do know that in these books there is a cat and a young woman and uh and of course that's that's what she likes to draw and when you look at these not you you um the the other element that you get from here is the composition storytelling um you get things like uh her ability uh her uh, showing you how she um, how shiny this light is dang um her uh, her landscapes so her ability to draw landscapes like that uh, we've got let's see uh, everything that you that I just showed you with with uh, with all the all the the drawings that I showed you but um, very organic uh, beautifully drawn uh, figures uh, while at the same time we've got uh, well composed graphic uh, uh, landscapes designs areas places uh, compositions so let me I'm, I'm just I'm trying to search for a good example here of what of, of some of the some of what uh, I'm talking about here because there is a lot of beautiful work here so I'm going to show you this so we've got see how the there's like a lot of action and, and a lot of energy in in all of these and the way that these are lit and composed so I will uh, look for um, links to all these books uh you can't go wrong with any of them they all are amazing and worth looking at and studying for their composition for their backgrounds for the character designs for the anatomy for all the, the storytelling uh the action the uh, like all of this that stuff it's it's all here it's really worth they're really worth picking up if you could get like a handful maybe one or two all right, and then we've got something that are it's a little bit less of uh, like a um, a little less 
uh, of a comic and a little bit more of a of a personalized sketchbook full of drawings, right? So here we have uh, her more. Uh, so there is some comic pages in here, but it's mostly about um, just her uh, just sketches, uh, drawings, um, illustrations, um, and exploration of li different types of, of of art and drawing. Um, so this this one is really really good if you want to get we have creatures here uh, Just all kinds of different. We have lots of beautiful sketches in here uh, Animals and, and the types of stuff that, that I showed you I just showed you we have sketches of, of animals and people Some of the sketches in here are actually uh, Some of the ones that I showed you, but we also have these kind of um, definitely more animated design kind of kind of drawings in here and uh, uh, and and here's more exaggerated animals uh, so there's a lot there's a lot to to look at and study from here um, just really wor really well worth studying and we got the blacks and black and white uh, ink drawings in here they're, they're in fact very very uh, Frazetta esque and then we've got this book. <clears throat> now I believe that there's an updated version of this book. So, and I believe there might be another, uh, I don't know if it's an updated version of this one or an updated version of this one. But, uh, so this drawing book is, is a really unique and very interesting because what it does is, it has a side-by-side -side comparison uh, she took uh, some of her old sketches, like this one, this page here, and then um, after her, and then after a couple of years of having studied and done different things, uh, she decided to go ahead and redraw them uh, in a in, in in the style that 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 she was more comfortable in drawing now or thinking about drawing. Like she just experimented with what she's learned and how she would finish the drawing now so this is the, the other side is 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 her her newest version of her old sketch she just took the old sketches and actually finished them up in a different style and so we've got for example we've got this creature design here i mean this this well, th th this one over here and then she finished it up and did this with it and um it's still look how amazing both versions are like we've got this great sketch here, but then look how amazing that finished finished one is, and uh, so it's stuff like that. That this is just so good. It's a really good uh, uh, study source in in, uh, in 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 fit in the fit in in how 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 to think, how to sketch, how to to really um, work things out, and at the same time, how what are different ways you can tighten up clean up make decisions when you want to final line it while while still trying to keep some of the energy and power and essence that you had with your from your from your original rough and and how to plus it up uh and some because there are some drawings in here that are actually much more interesting once she reworked them graphically and and added a little bit more of a finesse and more a little bit more final thought to the lines uh, really, really good, really great stuff. Um, again, all these books I'm going to link in the description of this video. Okay, I hope you've uh, I've opened your eyes to yet another fantastic, amazing artist. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.